Hello everyone, welcome to the video today. Today I reached uh, diamond rank and I'm going to show the tech tree first. I'm attacking with the rocket chopper and um, yeah, I've upgraded uh, uh, the mortar to level 4. I'm using flare, I'm at level 3. And I have a max barrage. I've uh, unlocked the flamethrower and shock launcher in both to level 4 and I have the artillery at level 3 and 20% uh, GB and yeah I'm using this base here and let's um, take a look at some attacks first one is this here 320 uh, pretty fast time and against this base um, I'm just uh, flaring behind, like I'm um, over the gap here in the middle. And um, on this base there wasn't an engine room in that corner. Like this one here is usually there. Uh, this time there wasn't, so I just was able to flare there. And then I'm using two shocks. And I'm just clearing the engine rooms. And this uh, lower right engine room I'm just using two barrage and one artillery to take it out and down goes the base see the next attack again 320 again a similar base but this time there was the engine room um, in that corner and also there um, was a cannon right here that's a bit more difficult to um, go um, behind the base but uh, I was able to shock the boom cannon with that cannon so still just two shocks needed and also the flare is expiring a little bit before the troops uh, get to the flare so they are a bit lower which also helps with the spread so the troops can take out the two engine rooms here pretty much at the same time And then here a couple of artillery on the last engine room. And also this tech needs a 20% GB, because otherwise um, yeah, I would just uh, run out of it. One was uh, 315. Again the same base basically. This time I used to fly there at the start just to get um, troops a bit more to the left. And then uh, two shocks again at the top. One shock for the two cannons and one shock for the boom cannon. And I'm not using any shocks for like that boom cannon. Also these choppers are, and most of them are over the gap and uh, out of range of most of the defenses. I don't need to worry about the defenses because I'm gonna lose a few rocket chopper, but not a lot of them. Here the next tag, uh, this one was again 320. And again basically the same base. With the same attack again. Gonna flare it there in the corner. And then uh, here here and the boom cannon. I'm trying to do that flare as close as possible to the wall there. So the rocket chopper fly as high as possible. So they don't get in range of that cannon. And after the two shocks, again, nothing, no more GB for the rocket choppers at the top, and then just uh, barred out that uh, engine room there at the bottom right. Next take us this one, this one was a bit slower, only 246. Base was a bit different. This time all the four engine rooms uh, were at the top. And um, I did the same thing again. Uh, these cannons here are a bit uh, higher up. And also some sniper towers that are in range. And also that boom, doom, boom cannon is a bit uh, lower. So, um, or it's higher. 
So the gap is um, on the other side of the boom cannon, then then closer to this engine room. And that uh, basically just makes the rocket chopper target that boom cannon and uh, that way more of the rocket chopper read them um, in to near this engine room and the range of like these defenses and that sniper tower. So um, that made it a bit more difficult. I lost a lot of the rocket chopper because of that. And if the boom cannon would have been one tower to the left, more of the rocket chopper would have spread uh, um, yeah, just higher and would have been out of range of most of the defenses. And I still won by I think 2 seconds. Yes, 2 seconds. This one 3.11. This one is a different base. And on that one I used two heavies. And I flipped them in the corner. So they distract the, just that cannon here. And after they are yeah, walked over the shock mine, I dropped the heavy chopper, a rocket chopper and uh, yeah, I shocked the boom cannon. Unfortunately a bit late. And um, lost the rocket chopper, but no big deal. And also I barred out the left engine room. And there I just flared the boom cannon and then the rocket chopper targeted the, the other boom cannon and then I just flared the engine rooms. And a shock at the end. And an artillery. I had the last tag, um, this one here. 313. And this one was also the attack that got me to diamond. Like here I still was ranked 20. And here ranked 21. And yeah, I dropped them. Um, that's the ba again basically the same base. Just this engine room is a bit higher up than uh, usually. Yeah, did the same thing again. I didn't chuck that cannon because um, it only got uh, one rocket chopper. So yeah, one rocket chopper less isn't uh, the big problem there. Just let the troops clear and part out that engine room on the right side. And down goes the base. And um, yeah, yeah, also have a chest available. So I'm trying to um, just trying to collect that one now in um, diamond. At least if uh, the waiting time will not be too long. So um, yeah, I guess I'll um, jump to the. Yeah, we're gonna search an opponent and then jump to the um, first opponent. Or actually, I'm um, gonna go out here again and um, upgrade something. So I didn't um, upgrade something after I got the diamond chest. And I think I'm going to upgrade. Um, could upgrade the troop damage maybe, or I could upgrade the shock, or the artillery. But I don't think that the artillery would help me um, enough. So I'm going with the yeah with the shock. And I can still upgrade the artillery. I think I'm going to do that. And then in three chests I would be able to max out the artillery. So yeah, let's uh, get to the first opponent. And that was pretty quick. A uh, rank 18. Base looks um yeah, looks like the same one basically. Oh, that means I'm going to um, 
Yeah, drop the rocket chopper on the left. And then yeah, I'm gonna do a reflare here and then flare in that corner. I have 26 GB. Two shocks are 19 GB, so I can do two shocks. One, two. Was a bit late. Actually, I think I flared on that boom cannon. At least it looked like it. Gonna shock these cannons again. I would just uh, let the troops clear at the top. I flare the engine room at the top. From barrage and artillery on that engine room there. 312. Not the quickest time, but still a decent one. Now let's see what the opponent is doing. He still has all four engine rooms up. He's using heavy Zuka with uh, Iron Will and Brick. Or Brick with the ability Iron Will. And he's clearing the last engine rooms now. And he's already at 3 minutes, so I'm going to win this one. And these Zucras are pretty healthy with the Iron Will. <laughs> Let's see how many stars I'm getting. Hmm, 8 stars. So I would have got just 3 without the win streak. And yeah, one more attack. At least if I take down all the engine rooms for the next chest. So find another opponent. And they're rank 19. And this base looks a bit different. Take a look at the ranges. Uh, a lot of sniper towers, which are going to do a lot of damage to a rocket chopper. And this shock is also pretty difficult to shock that cannon and the boom cannon. I probably would try to shock like that cannon and um, this cannon, these two. Or I would try a different strategy, but I don't think so. Let's try it. The friend that corner. And I need to do a pretty hard truck now. See if I can hit it. Yes, I got the two cannons. That was a nice shock. I'm actually gonna do another shock. Try to shock the boom cannon again. But I missed the cannon. Actually, let's reflare here. Two rocket choppers left at the top. Not many. And it should still be a good time. Space was pretty good against uh, this attack with all the sniper towers and cannons. Let's see how fast he was. Yeah, 238. I won that one too. 10 stars. And let's uh, collect the chest. Beautiful diamond chest. And um, actually let's take a look, a look at the leaderboard. And right now I'm 5th place. Yeah. So, that's it with the video today. Thanks everyone for watching. I uh, hope uh, it helped. And see you next time. Bye.